Hello everybody. I hope you had a good day. Uh, today we are going to draw a propeller uh, which you can use on your RC boat or ship. So you can go ahead and print this, use it on your uh, RC boat and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So today mostly we're going to work under part as our workbench. Uh, change it to part, click on create new. After you click on create new, we are going to create a cylinder. So click on the cylinder tool, click on cylinder, and we shall give it a height of 30. We shall give it a radius of 20, and we shall leave everything at 360. So let's zoom out. Uh, everything looks fine. Okay. So once we are done with the cylinder, we're going to create a helix. So go ahead and click on this tool, which is create creation of parameterized geometric primitive. Uh, click on that, change the plane to helix. On the helix, what we are going to do is create a pitch of 30, create a height of 10, and create a radius of 25. Then click on create close. Okay. So this was a double. Okay, so we have our helix path already defined. So we are going to change our part design to Sketcher. Create a sketch, change this object to XZ, and click OK. Uh, click on that so we can see what we are drawing. Go to the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. After we're done drawing a rectangle, let's go ahead and put some constraints. Our uh, vertical constraint from that spot to this spot will be 10. Okay, and then horizontal constraint from that spot to that spot will be 15. So we can put it that way. You can put it that way. And then this will be 50. And then this will be 2.5, which is the thickness of the blade. So uh, we are done with that sketch, as you can see. Our part, uh, our blade design is complete. So go ahead and click on close. Now you should have three objects, the cylinder, the helix, and the sketch. So go ahead and click on sketch, click edit, click on duplicate, I'll leave all this selected and click OK. Click on that first sketch, click on edit, click on duplicate, and click on OK. As you can see, uh, our window is still showing once or only one sketch and one helix. So you're going to go ahead and click on the helix 001 and then click on placement. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on that angle and change it to 120. Press enter. Click on the second helix, change that angle to negative 120. Press enter. Now you should have uh, three sketches for our profile and three helix path. Okay. Now, after we are done with that, uh, let's go back to our path design. Uh, click on this tool, which is creation of parameterized geometric primitives. Uh, uh, once you do that, change uh, the primitive to 
Helix. Okay, so hold on, hold on. That's not the thing. So what we are going to do is we are going to do a sweep since we have finished doing our Helix. helix. So we are going to use this sketch to create a sweep along this Helix. So click on the first sketch, click on this tool, which is utility to sweep. Select the first sketch, move it to the profile, click on create solid, click on create free net, click on sweep. And then what we are going to do is we need to select our sweep path, which is this, and then click on done and click on okay. So we have our first blade uh, defined. Go ahead and click on that again. We shall go to sketch 001, move it, click on those two boxes, click on sweep, select the second path, click on done, click on okay. Click on that again, click on sketch 002, move it, uh, click those create solid and free net, click sweep, select that path, click on done, click OK. After those three operations, you should now have our profile of the what? Profile of the propeller. As you can see, we are done with that. So we are going to do some clearings to give it uh, some fillets on the edges. So at the moment, now we don't need the sketches to interrupt. So we can click on our first sweep and hide and hide uh, these sketch and helix. So our part is clean and smooth with only the solids. So we are going to create uh, some fillets uh, on these edges. So we are, you're going to select that edge, then click on the fillet tool, change this value to 12, okay? Uh, click on that edge, click on the fillet tool, change that to 12. Click that edge, click on the fillet tool, change that to 12. Click on that edge, click on the fillet, fillet tool, change that to 12. Uh, let's rotate around our part so we can work on the other two sides. Click on that edge, uh, click on that fillet tool change it to 12 and lastly click on that edge click on the fillet tool and change it to 12. okay as uh, you can see we are now done drawing the blades uh, the last operation we need to do is just put a hole in this uh, hub so go ahead and uh, click on the cylinder tool uh, so we have a new cylinder and in this cylinder we're going to give it a radius of 15 and we shall give it a height of 30 okay and then we shall select those two cylinders and then under our operation our boolean operations we shall select boolean xor and that's it. So, as you can see, uh, our propeller is done and complete. Okay, so you can export this as an STL file that you can use in your 3D printing software. And you should be able to print out a propeller that you can attach on your RC board and should be able to move your foot around. Uh, that's it. I hope you have a good day. Bye for now.